Hi, this is Kevin Burdick, and you are watching Square It Up. Today we're going to be talking about a couple little tweaks that uh, Facebook has made here over the last, uh, I would say, last week that's caused a lot of problems for people that have a lot of friends on their personal profile. For example, you'll notice that I have here 5,019 friends here under my, on my friend setting. Now that's an issue because Facebook only allows you to add up to 5,000 friends and also according to um, when I try to add somebody, um, 5,000 likes as well. So if I click on one of these friends to add that I actually want to add here, it says individual Facebook members can connect to a maximum of 5,000 friends and pages. So what I've got to do is I've got to be able to lower my friend total to under 5,000 in order to be able to add some uh, people that are my friends. Now one of the issues is, one of the tweaks that Facebook made this week is that all of the people that have suspended their page or or even deleted their page are still showing up and counting as some of the 5,000 friends that you have. And if you've been wor working at this for, well I've been doing this since 2008, I've got at several hundred um, deleted profiles that are just taking up space. The issue as well is as Facebook has grown and they've made changes it becomes very difficult and very challenging to delete these friends. So I'm going to show you some tweaks that I've learned as I've been working through this um, and, and some of the ways that I recommend you do this. Now first off you've got the ability to search so if you know of the names of some of these you can search and I generally recommend that you open multiple tabs. What I have right now I have several tabs open all with this screen on it. One of the tabs I'm going to use is my, is my scrolling tab. So as I get in here I'm going to start scrolling through the entire list of friends that I have and I'm going to be able to find those friends that I want to uh, remove. So if there are legitimate uh, friends that you just no longer wish to be friends with, maybe they don't fit uh, what you're looking for, instead of clicking on that and getting out all this work to generate this uh, list, it, it takes a lot of resources and time to generate all of your 5,000 friends. So what you need to do is right click if there is somebody that um, you don't want to be friends with anymore. And um, all these people I'm seeing here I know and I, I don't necessarily want to uh, remove, but you right click on the name and then click on open link and new tab. What that does is it'll open up a separate tab with that individual. You can go and unfriend them individually or, or even look and see if there's somebody you want to unfriend without closing out of this huge list that takes forever to generate. You see as I'm scrolling down using my wheel it's having a hard time keeping up and generating all of the list of friends that I have. And some of the older, I, I, I find that this must goes from people that you talk to currently and then starts as you scroll down it starts going back in time to maybe people that you were friends with several years ago that aren't using their Facebook page anymore. So getting to some of these inactive accounts or these deleted accounts it takes time. It's actually grueling and until Facebook uh, chooses to make some changes for um, removing friends and making that easier this is the best way that I've found to do this. So continue to scroll down, maybe play some music in the background. You definitely do not want to click out of any of this. If you click on any link you're going to have to redo and restart this all over again. So the goal is to uh, be able to get down to the bottom of your 5,000 friends so that you can uh, work this. Now you'll find some like this. That This is what a profile looks like that either doesn't have a picture or uh, is a deleted profile. Now I can tell you this is one that just doesn't have a picture because any deleted profiles will just have a name and no information under it. Um, these uh, ones without pictures you may want to choose to right click on, open in a new tab as you want to explore those and possibly uh, remove those as friends. Again you don't want to click on anything that will get you out of this tab. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead um, because again opening up 5,000 friends on any computer um, takes time for Facebook to generate your list. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here until I get to some of these uh, dead profiles. Actually you'll notice this is a Facebook glitch as far as I'm concerned. Um, there are profiles you cannot click on that are blank and these are either deleted possibly profiles that have blocked you but I have no ability to remove these from my list and unfortunately this Guy Russell account as far as I can tell is taking up uh, one of the valuable 5,000 slots that I have for, for legitimate friends and, and contacts. So unfortunately I can't do anything with those. Um, I've tried to right click on them. I've, I've 
uh, experimented with doing a lot of different things. I've done a search for them. The names don't come up in any of the searches. They just come up on this uh, master list as you scroll down, and you'll know. Okay, I have just I have just scrolled far enough down that I'm starting to get to some deleted accounts again, which again is a very time-consuming, arduous process. I probably paused the recording for about four minutes. This is a deleted account, and so I, there's a couple different ways. You'll if you get if you have another window open and you want to do a search for this account and delete it out of another window, that way you don't uh, close out of this list that you've been developing. Um, that's probably a, an okay way to do it. What I found is a lot of these don't come up on searches. There is a sort of way to trick this. So if you click on this, it will say this account has been deactivated. Only you can see this account. So you can unfriend them by clicking here. And this will remove them from your friends. So they won't be taking up a friend spot. Now this is very important. You do not want to click OK on this window because then it will reset this and you'll have to sit there and wait for minutes to be able to regenerate that. So I just continue to use the mouse wheel. I ignore that. There's another one of those that you can't click on. And here's one that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and it will just go over the top of that window and I'm going to unfriend that one. And again, don't click OK. I learned that the hard way after several um, trial and errors. So you'll notice I'm finding a lot of these down below and, and these are the ones that uh, are kind of older accounts that, uh, that I'm stumbling on here. So I'm able to get rid of these. It just It's just a big process. So get rid of this one. Um, if you do put your mouse over, and, and like sometimes you'll get one that tricks you, and that is uh, a little frustrating as well. When you click on one that is not a deleted account, it'll take you into the account, and then again you'll have to start over on this process. If you put your mouse over and it expands out to you know mutual friends and things like that, like for example it does on this one, you'll know. Okay, don't click on that. So if you go slow and steady, it'll keep you from making mistakes and having to start this process over. Uh oh, I just clicked on one. So that's the idea, and uh, hopefully that helps you as you're going through to be able to find accounts that that you'd like to get rid of. Um, I've got s probably 10 windows open here, so now I can go through and uh, and unfriend some of these uh, additional accounts that I would like to. Uh,